You ever been to the top of universe? <laughs> All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement is still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, right? Captain Almost Saver, you know. So, with all these things happening online, you know, after Kev Kevin Samuel's death, rest in peace, you're seeing a bunch of these co ed type interactions. And a lot of them are crash and burns. You know, men and women are getting together, having these relationship conversations. And some of the same, you know, people who had the same talking points or not even talking points, who, who say, you know what, maybe he was being too harsh or maybe it's not like that with as many people as we think. They're learning the hard way, right? And because they're learning the hard way, like I said, it's just a matter of time before they get possessed by stink meaner. That's a Boondocks reference if you never watched the Boondocks. But it's just a matter of time, just just for the record. But what you do have, these guys who are like, and I get a kick out of these guys in particular, they, they're all, they're Captain Almost Saver, you know what? But they're really not because they're not going to date none of these chicks. Like, they, you know, baby, you got to, you know, you got to abandon these guys are horrible. You haven't met the right guy, as Dion Cole would say. You know, you, you know, the girl goes, no, I haven't. And he whips it out. And, I, and she's like, no. And he's like, oh, not ready, not ready. Because, you know, he's trying to gas her up and, and tell her she's special. Because really what he want to do, he don't. He's dirty macking in the, in the highest degree. You know, I'm not going to do, do a hotep game. I'm going to do a... Nobody's good enough for you because you're the specialist, beautifulest thing in the world. And just like that, whip it out. Can I get in you? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. So they almost going to save him. Like, you know, you know, guys say don't date single mothers. And the guy's like, no, you should date single mothers. And it's like, you, are you going to date single mothers? And he's like, well, I almost was, was dating them. I got, I told her, you know, her baby daddy was no good and. She could do so much better and, you know, I think she's a strong, independent woman. And then I whipped it out. I think we got lift off. And then, you know, I hit it. And then I was like, listen, you were too, you were, you were such a strong woman. I cannot, I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm not man enough to handle you yet. And, you know, you got, ga you gassed up and she's like, he, he's just not ready yet. And he in the car like, DJ Khaled and another one. You know what I'm saying? So Cap Captain almost save him. So it's like, you know, he's whispering in your ear that you're great and fantastic and fantabulous. But really he just, you know, pimping, pimping. You know what I'm saying? So then you got the guys who are who are or, you know, these ladies are rebellious because they didn't read the meet the right kind of man, you know. And he didn't, he, she didn't meet the right kind of guy. And she would be submissive and feminine for the right kind of guy. And until you're that right kind of guy, let her be free. She, you, you ain't man enough for her. And she's like, yeah, you're not man enough for me. Because he said so. And then he whip it out. You think, you, I mean, it's just, just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to whip this out for the rebellion, baby. Like, you know, uh, I'm just trying to help you, um, um, Go down on the patriarchy. I mean, well, I didn't mean to say it like that, but yes, I did. But what are we doing? Oh, we doing it? All right, all right. Congratulations to me. So I then and, and oh, you seem like you're aggressive and assertive, and you and maybe just maybe you're a high value man, right? So you're gonna turn that rebel into a housewife? No, you're not. You're gonna say, mm, mm, mm. baby, I'm just too lame for you, like. You need to find somebody just as rebellious as you because I am not, you know, I'm not bad boy enough for you. You are just too much of a, of a, of a, I don't know, what would you, what would you call that? Too much of a free spirit. And then she's like, yeah, I'm too much of a free spirit. And, and I just, you know, I've been too good for you. And then he walks off and get in the car and another one. And then, you know. And what about the, 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 
Oh boy, I gotta do it, right? What about the, these men are toxic, dirty mags, you know? They're toxic, they're wrong, they're evil. You know, you just need to be in healthy relationships. And, you know, maybe I'm not the man for you, but I think I can nurse you back into health because you need a healing, sister. I, I love my black women and black queens, and I think you really just need to be in a healthy environment. Not necessarily a healthy relationship with me, just a healthy environment. And I can give you some health if I you know, whip it out. You healthy enough when I whip this out? I whip it out. Yeah, what you think? What you think? This is not this is not toxic. This is this is like, you know, this is food for your soul or cervix, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you know what? Cause I, and then you, don't get attached, baby, because you're not cause 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 you might you know, maybe I'm toxic masculinity and I haven't really got the toxicity out of me yet, but I can nurse you back in the health after I whip this thing back out one more time because it was, it was fire. Um, and then she's like, you know what? You, all you men are dogs and toxic. No, we're not. No, we're not. But I'm just trying to help you see what healthy looks like. And then he back to the car <laughs> and another one. So all these guys who are, you know, on that, I love you. But I, but I'm gonna hit you from the back just like everybody else and leave you stranded. But I'm not. But I'm gonna act like I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, there's a special place. It's a special place. In Hades for you clowns. Anyway, I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.